days that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. About that. See, that text implies uh, something that I think is good. It's probably just as essential as your as your perception in situation. Uh -huh. See, when you're in a situation, woo, if, 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 if you if you tune in and you can you, your eyes are tuned spiritually, mm. see through the situation, you see something that God is doing. Wow. You don't see the situation, you see through the situation. Okay. But you see, the other thing I believe that what God really needs from us is a commitment to availability. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. You see, see, God wants to keep you in a mode of constant availability. Mm. If that's where you're at or what you're doing, you are available to God. Woo! I, listen, there can be nothing in your life that will ever hinder your availability to Him, no matter where you are, no matter what you're Woo. doing, no matter what it is, you are available to God. Woo! And that's why he said everywhere. Goodness. This is the thing that I think also hinders us, is that we got some things that puts that makes us unavailable. Mm. Be found. Nah, let's go with unavailable. Let's go with that. not defiled. And I and I realized all a long time ago that it didn't matter whether it was on my job. Yes. In inconvenient places. Yes. Come out. Or in time where you only a flesh you might have been ashamed of felt you might have suffered some loss. Come well, out. I want to know, are you available? Are you available? Ooh. Because to abide in me. Me imply that you are always available to God. Wow. Now, let me say this. I, I sent you guys a while back. I sent you a text on Matthew chapter 11. Them last few verses where it says, Come unto me, all you that heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Yes, sir. When I sent you those verses, my thoughts were dealing with this very conversation we were having this morning. Wow. And later on, I sent you another breath while I said, I think it's time not to add Colossians chapter 2. Y'all remember that text? I think so. Let me I see. Do. I do. Chapter 2. You see, in, in those verses, those verses are going to help you discern how to answer a lot of these issues we've been talking about this morning when it comes down to that kingdom work of God. Uh, I think it was verse 29, the last one, verse 29, I think was the verse that was, I was trying to get to. It was Colossians What did it say, 2.29? With Col Colossians? Yeah. What Colossians 2.29. It's not Colossians. I'm in the wrong one, son. That's, that's Colossians right here. Yeah. It goes to 23. 29? Verse 29. There's a, not a 2, not a chapter 2. Colossians okay, 1.29. 1. Okay. Yeah. 129. Yeah. You gonna read that, Brother Addison? Whereunto I also labor, striving according to this work which His worketh work. in me mightily. His working. You see, you see, this becomes a very this is a very delicate thing that we're talking about right here. This is the distinction between the, the helper wheel, the crib, or the front line. Mm. You see, Paul understood, he, he was talking about, listen now. He, he said, verse 24, so he said, he's talking about himself. He said, I've not rejoiced in my suffering for you and fill up that which is behind of the affliction of Christ in my flesh for his body's sake, which is the church. Mm -hmm. you, you see, when you come down to this real, when you get focused on what this mission work is really all about, 
you find that it is always about love and always about the other person. Right. It is going to always be about love. It is going to always be sacrificial in order for the other person to benefit. Mm. So that there is always, in a sense, a dying going on inside of you. For somebody else. In order for somebody else to be, to be helped along the lines of the kingdom mission. And that in itself is the very heart of the work that God has called each one of us into. He said, well, if I made, I made a minister according to the dispensation of God who is given to me for you to fulfill the word of God. Even the mystery which has been hid from ages, from generations, but now is made manifest to his saints. Mm -hmm. To whom God would make known what is the riches of the glory of the mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you. And this is true for anybody in the kingdom. It's Christ in you. In you. Yes. And in this other stuff. It all, it all comes down to not only what that Christ is in you, it is to what degree you yield to him to become one with him so that Christ can really evidence himself in this world. Mm. That is. 